Hello, welcome to day seven breakup recovery. This is a live series of breakup recovery happening for the whole month of August. My name is Irina Shehovtsov. I am certified NLP timeline therapy and hypnotherapy coach. And today we're going to be talking about what does it take to transform. Yesterday we covered a little bit about. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about what does it take we did how to relieve pangs of anxiety and if you're curious about that you can check out uh, videos on igtv there is a whole series of events today we are tuning in into the day seven and this is for anybody who wants to recover after breakup separation and divorce who feel themselves struggling who don't know how to move forward who is looking for that clarity in their life this is what this life series is all about and today we are talking about what does it take to transform? What does it actually take for you to recover? Well, there are five keys to transformation that I'm going to cover be with you today. First key is recognition. What is recognition? Well, it's recognizing where you are today. And what is that the story that you tell yourself? Did you know that you live the story that you tell? Because your mind is always listening to what is coming out of your mouth and it takes everything literally. So the story you tell yourself is how you live your life. If, you st if you're telling the story of victimhood, if you're telling the story of struggle and pain and all of that, the more you tell that story, not only what you tell to others, but what do you speak when no one is listening to yourself, how you show up, what are you telling? It all matters. The words that you use, the emotions that you feel and where you are today, it all contributes to that fact. Second thing about recognition is everything is not okay. When someone's ask you, oh, how are you? And you just say, oh, I'm okay. And this is how, uh, I guess, the accepted means of communication is nobody actually cares about what you think or how you feel. They're just asking for the uh, mere, uh, I call it, pleasure of recognizing or, or acknowledging or being societally acceptable you know they're asking how how are you doing and you say oh everything is okay well it's not okay and it's okay to recognize that and uh, actually make it matter make it a point that it is not okay if you are tired of living in this mundane existence of at least I can speak for myself when I was coming out of my breakup and I was thinking to myself is life is, is this all what it's all about between me dropping off one kid in one place and another kid and in the nursery and uh, running rushing back to catch the train to work and bawling my eyes out on my way there and asking myself is this what life is all about is this the life of struggle and not being okay with it anymore because I needed, I knew I needed to be more energetic. I need to show up for my kids. I need to be more present and more alive. I cannot live like that any longer. And this is what recognition is all about. Coming out of a breakup, realizing that if, if this is, this is of course for people who feel broken after breakup, if it, if you feel, yay, I finally like I'm done with this relationship and I can move forward. You can skip over this video. This is for people who dedicated their life. This is for people who were living and believing in the dream and living and I call it spending time with their spouse, believing in the family and spending all their time losing themselves in the process of being married or being in a relationship with someone. And now they are at a loss. Where is their identity? What, what are they all about? And this is the questions I was asking myself. Am I someone else's mom, someone else's wife, but who am I? That's the question that I was asking myself because I managed to lose my identity during my relationship of we knew each other for 15 years and we were married for nine. And I managed to lose myself in that process and I no longer knew what that identity was. So it's recognizing that fact where you are today after a breakup, after struggle, after living that miserable place and wanting to change, wanting to do something better for yourself, recognizing that fact. This is the first uh, kind of 
the foundation of transformation. First of all, recognizing where you are and the fact that where you are today, you cannot live long, no longer like that. You need to change something in your life. And for longest time, I was waiting for someone to come and save me and rescue me, but to, to kind of sell the story short <laughs> is change always comes from within. You need to be the one who is going to come rescue you, who is going to come and recognize what is not working and make it work, make it alive again. So once you recognize that you cannot live no longer like that, in that broken state, you need to recover, you want to have energy, you want to be alive, you want to be happy again. And that isn't that what everybody wants in the end to be happy? Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. If you're tuning in for the first time today, my name is Irina Shovtsov. I'm certified NLP and timeline therapy coach. And in this live series, I'm talking about breakup recovery for the month of August. Every day I'm tuning in and sharing tools and techniques of things, how you can recover after breakup. So today we are talking about transformation. What does it take to transform? There are five keys to transformation. First key is recognition, recognizing that where you are no longer serves you and you want to change, you want to recover, you want to be happy again. It's recognizing that. Second thing in transformation is desire to change because it's all fun and games when you're just talking about it, that you cannot live anymore like this in the state, you're complaining about your life. But are you actually ready? Do you actually want to change? Do you have that desire? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to succeed? Are you willing to do what's necessary to get to your goal, to get to your happy place? Are you willing to do that? Envisioning also the best version of you. One of the things that was helpful for myself is during my morning walks, and I'm going to cover uh, in another video morning routine and what it can do for you. How many benefits does it bring you every single day if you do that? During those morning walks, I used to clear, go, and I still do that, uh, go outside, clear your mind and imagine what is that best version of you is going to be look, look like. What is they going to do? What are they going to feel? Who are they going to be? And having that vision in your mind, loud and clear every single day, connecting to that best version of you. So that's the second key to transformation is desire to change. Do you have the desire to change? Drop down comments below if you are ready to change, if you are ready to transform. Third, third step is action in transformation. Action actually comes in as well. And this is a third key to transformation. Action. Because words without action are just like goals without deadlines. So action is important. And another thing I want to say, imperfect action is better than no action at all. So whatever you do, take that first step, take that leap of faith, do what's necessary. Don't let yourself be held back. So that's the second thing, the action. Fourth step to transformation is determination. And I posted earlier about it. Uh, Muhammad Ali said it well when you are in doubt, when you struggle upon something or when you stumble upon some, something, remember what it is that was, that why, why did you start? Why did you start? Keep that in mind. What was the end result? What is the end goal? Because process of transformation is difficult because the only, I call it, the hardest thing you can do in life is actually transform yourself, change yourself. Because it's the inside job that what happens on the inside when nobody is watching when nobody is seeing what do you do for yourself how do you keep yourself alive energetic going for it and having the determination to keep going no matter what happens no matter what anyone says no matter what anyone does it's what you envision for yourself what is that best version of you doing every single day keep going no matter what Keeping that goal in mind, that end result of the person that you want to become after you transform, you want to be happy again, you want to be alive, you want to be living your life as opposed to letting your life pass you by. Being present to every single thing 
and not just ticking boxes off and fulfilling oh yes i have to do this this and this but not actually being present or oftentimes what happens we go through life and as a society kind of put puts us or how you grow up when you're a little kid you go through school you finish college you get you start a job you get you form a family and then you work and then you retire but you actually but what happens when there is a traumatic event occurs what happens when something that wasn't working before uh, never happened before but when you're not prepared how do you react to that how does it how how can you recover like that how can you keep moving forward that when it comes to mind that's what you need to do and the last last key to transformation i want to mention is consistency so just like I'm coming on here, doing these lives, sharing the, the tips and the tools, anything you pick in any uh, life, that I call it, in anything that you do, it's the consistency that makes it worthwhile. So whether you're trying to learn a new language, whether you're trying to master how to play the piano, how to sing a song, how to, I don't know, run a four minute mile or pushing that for me and while is the consistency that keeps keeps us at it it's the daily effort that makes you transform in the end there is a great book by james olson and it's called the slight edge and what it talks about is this small degree changes that you make every in every single area of your life one degree at a time and it's told in, as a narrative and then in the end, what you're going to see if you turn around in a year from now and what you will notice is that you are 365 degrees better or different than you were a year prior. So it's not those giant uh, leaps of change that you see, but it's the incremental little changes that happen every single day of your life those are the changes that make it worthwhile those are the changes that finally you can see how you're moving how you are improving so this was five keys to transformation what does it take actually to transform what does it take to change and it doesn't just relate to breakups it relates to anything if you're no longer happy with where you are today with the life you are living maybe you're getting into a wrong kind of relationships or you can't push through in different situations you're not getting the outcomes that you wanted to get transformation is applicable to all areas of your life wherever you choose and having those five key elements in place helps you transform so first one i just want to recap this was recognition it's recognizing that where you are today the way you live your life today is no longer working it's recognizing that it's the story that you tell yourself when no one is watching when when you are all by yourself what is it that you are telling yourself what is that story and that the fact that everything is not okay and it's okay to recognize that you don't have to be all nice and beautiful and uh, saying uh, that everything is working out when it's not working out and being tired of the mundane existence believe it or not life you're not created to live to struggle you're created to be living in abundant universe in having magnificent days not of course all the time but living in mundane existence is no way to live because life is too short to go on living unhappy you need to go follow your dreams whenever no matter what they are because as we as little kids we dream often and we dream every day but as we grow up we have more and more responsibilities and things that are piled up on top of us and oftentimes we forget about our dreams we forget the fact that they are there they're always waiting for us so go out and go follow your dreams don't let your life pass you by because the greatest regret of people who are near that death but is that they didn't live their life to the fullest they didn't go after their dreams and when you are there it's already too late 
So live your life. Go after your dreams. Second step in transformation is desire to change. Recognizing that where you are today is not working and you want to change. You are willing to do whatever it takes to transform, to succeed. You are envisioning the best version of you. What is that version doing, being, feeling? Where is it? Where is she or he today? And action. Action is the third degree or key to transformation. It's taking action because words without action are just like goals without deadlines. And imperfect action is better than no action at all. Oftentimes we are thinking, oh, somebody's going to say this or that. But taking that first imperfect step and going for it. I can uh, share a little story. When I, the imperfect action, when I started my podcast, I didn't know anything to do, how to start a podcast. Or I was holding myself back because I wanted to create video series, but I didn't, I had some video technical difficulties and I was holding myself back in that regard. And then I realized I have all this audio material. Why wait? Just launch the audio piece. And I did that. And it wasn't perfect. It wasn't. I just took action on it. I started and I kept kept going, producing more and more episodes and, you know, learning as I go along. Because remember, there is no failure, only feedback. So take that imperfect action. Take that first step to your change. Determination. You also need determination to transform. It's keep going no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says. Having that goal in the end that you are looking forward towards and it's important to you because the way you live now no longer working and keeping that goal in mind. And finally, the last ingredient to transformation is consistency. You know, daily effort is what it takes to transform every single day doing micro small change so if transformation if you think transformation is something that is difficult if you take little bite-sized chunks every single day in the year you're not gonna recognize yourself you're gonna be so much further ahead from where you are today but it's only if you are if you want to transform if you want to change if you want to move forward, if you don't, if you are not fine with where you are today, if you want to succeed, then this will work for you. So these are our life series going in the month of August. Where I'm talking about breakup recovery. Today we were talking about transformation, five keys to transformation. What does it actually take to transform? And tomorrow, join me again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern between five and six. Where I'm going to share more about tools and techniques and tricks that you can do to implement in your life today to recover after breakup. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're curious, you can check out prior videos in a series and on IGTV or on Facebook, wherever you are watching me live today. In the month of August, breakup recovery is what I'm talking about. If you have any questions, you can drop them down below in the comments. If you have a friend who is going through breakup or who is after divorce and they lost their identity, they're looking to find themselves again, feel free to share this video with them. Feel free to reach out in the comments and drop your questions below. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your Friday and I will see you tomorrow for day eight of breakup recovery. Thank you so much.